During the Cold War, monitoring the Soviet Union and its influence worldwide was the top priority for the CIA. In the 1950s, before reconnaissance satellites and other sophisticated collection systems were operational, wiretaps were one of the most important technical means for collecting intelligence about Soviet military capabilities. The challenge was where and how to best conduct such wiretap operations. Berlin was at the center of a vast communications network from France to deep within Russia and Eastern Europe. At the time, almost all Soviet military telephone and telegraph traffic between Moscow, Warsaw, and Bucharest was routed through Berlin over landlines strung overhead and buried underground. In a joint effort, the CIA and the British Secret Intelligence Service, MI6, assessed that tapping into underground communication lines in the Soviet sector of Berlin offered a good source for Soviet and East German intelligence. Tunneling from West Berlin to the underground cables in nearby East Berlin was judged to be feasible, and Director of Central Intelligence Alan Dulles approved the covert tunneling and tapping operation in January 1954. Work began the following month using a U.S. Air Force radar site and warehouse in West Berlin as cover. Construction took a year. Tunnelers removed 3,100 tons of soil and used 125 tons of steel plate and 1,000 cubic yards of grout. The finished tunnel was 1,476 feet long. British technicians installed the taps, and collection began in May 1955. Unknown to CIA and MI6, the KGB, the Soviet Union's premier intelligence agency, had been aware of the project from its inception. A KGB mole inside MI6 had alerted the Soviets during the operation's planning stages. To protect their source, the KGB allowed the operation to continue until April 1956, when they discovered the tunnel while supposedly repairing faulty underground cables. The Soviets hoped to stage a propaganda coup by publicizing the operation, but their plan backfired when instead of condemning the operation, most press coverage marveled at the operation's audacity and technical ingenuity. The taps collected successfully for nearly a year, and processing the immense volume of data took more than two years after the tunnel was shut down. Subsequent studies determined that the Soviets had not attempted to feed false information over the lines. The intelligence that had been collected was genuine. Despite the KGB's foreknowledge, CIA ruled this most ambitious operation a success yielding valuable intelligence for U.S. policymakers and warfighters.